Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how you can get started with HTML. Let's begin with some frequently asked questions. First, what is HTML and what is it used for? The Hypertext Markup Language, or HTML, is the standard markup language for documents designed to be displayed in a web browser. It can be assisted by technologies such as cascading style sheets, CSS, and scripting languages such as JavaScript. HTML is a markup language that tells web browsers how to structure the web pages you visit. It can be as complicated or as simple as the web developer wants it to be. HTML consists of a series of elements, which you use to enclose, wrap, or mark up different parts of content to make it appear or act in a certain way. Hypertext refers to links that connect web pages to one another either within a single website or between websites. HTML can also be used when using packages, modules, etc., such as making dashboards with Python and Dash or Panel, just to name a few. What are some good resources for learning HTML? Our first resource is here, at Mozilla. Our second resource is here at W3 Schools. What browser can I use to view HTML? A few options include Google Chrome. Firefox. Edge. And Safari. Next, what are some good text editors to use to write HTML? The first option, and my recommendation, is Visual Studio Code. Another option is Sublime Text. And then we have Atom. However, it appears that Atom is going away on December 15th of 2022. And one more option is brackets.io. Which was originally created by Adobe, but has since been transferred and is now maintained by the brackets.io community. A few online options, which provide some easy ways to get started with basic syntax without downloading anything, include REPLIT.com. Then you can sign up and create your web project, and there is a free tier option. Another option is JSFiddle.net. And we also have CodePen.io. How do I run HTML code on my computer? One option on a Mac is to drag the HTML file to a web browser icon. Another option is to double click the HTML file.
You can also right click on the HTML file and open with the web browser of your choice. Some more options include, from terminal on Mac, change the directory to the location of the file, then type open index.html. From Windows command prompt, change the directory to the location of the file, then type start index.html. Also, in Visual Studio Code, you can go to the menu bar, run and then choose Run without debugging. And probably the best option is to use the Live Server extension from Visual Studio Code. Click on Extensions and search for Live Server. If it is not installed, you would click Install. Here we have an empty folder with the title HTML folder. We go to our Explorer, Open Folder. Let's click the folder and add. Next, let's click New File. And we'll give it the name index.html. Let's put in some HTML boilerplate code. Now we can right click and go to open with live server. If we make changes and save the document, the changes will show up automatically. How does HTML work with CSS and JavaScript? HTML provides the content, CSS provides the style, and JavaScript provides the interactivity, logic, and behavior. What is the common naming convention for a HTML file? Index.html is a common naming convention for the home HTML page, or if you just have one HTML page. How do I make a comment in HTML code? Comments are not recognized as part of the code and serve as a reminder or provide extra details. The syntax is less than exclamation point dash dash, then you put in your comments dash dash, greater than. A keyboard shortcut is command forward slash. What are HTML? Elements. HTML elements are the basic building blocks of a HTML web page. The syntax is a less than with the opening tag, then a greater than, then the content, then another less than, a forward slash, the end tag, and a greater than. Some HTML elements have slightly different syntax. Here we have four examples. For the first example, we have the header. Next, we have the paragraph. Next, we have the HTML element link, or anchor element. And the last example, we have a list. How is a HTML page set up? The basic structure for a HTML web page includes the head and the body wrapped inside a HTML element with doc type HTML at the top. The basic HTML structure looks like this. What goes in the HTML head element? Links to CSS and sometimes JavaScript files, the document title, and metadata 
can go in the HTML head. What are meta elements inside the HTML head? When search engines index your site and make it findable or discoverable, they look at the description and keywords, etc., using the meta elements. Meta elements can help search engines understand the purpose of your site, as well as provide other metadata. Here are some basic examples of meta elements. And of course, more can be added. What goes in the HTML body element? The HTML elements that provide the web page content goes in the HTML body. Also, often the link to the JavaScript files go in the body. How do I see the HTML for a web page in a web browser? Normally, all you have to do is right click and click inspect. Let's right click and click inspect. And here we can see the code. You can also hover over parts of the code to highlight the corresponding specific parts of the web page. How do I create placeholder text and images? Placeholder text and images can help you lay out your mock website if you're not exactly sure what you want to put in that space at that time. In Visual Studio Code, you can use the Emmet abbreviation lorem to create lorem ipsum placeholder text. Or you can search the web for a lorem ipsum placeholder text generator. A couple examples for placeholder images include placeholder.com and dummyimage.com. For more options, visit this site here. How can I check my HTML code for errors or bugs, etc.? HTML validators can be used to check for errors. We have two examples here. The first example is at w3.org. The next example is infohound.net tidy. At w3.org, you have three options. Validate by URI. You can upload the file, or you can copy and paste the code. At infohound.net, once again, you can put in the URL, you can copy and paste the HTML, or you can upload the file. Now. Something to keep in mind when using the validators. One error can cause a list of error messages. So don't worry if you see this because if you fix that one error many times, several of the messages will go away. What are some quick and easy ways to get my site on the internet? Two quick and easy ways include Netlify and GitHub Pages, which we will cover in future tutorials. And here we have a few key Visual Studio Code keyboard shortcuts for the Mac. And most likely these exist on Windows as well, but they might be slightly different. The first keyboard shortcut is Shift with an exclamation mark. And this will give you your HTML boilerplate code. The next keyboard shortcut is for a comment, which is Command forward slash. And if you want to fix your indentation, select your code and use the keyboard shortcut Shift Option F. That's all we have for this tutorial on how to get started with HTML. We will be doing many more tutorials on HTML. Join us again next time.